If we didn't have a car and we still needed to move about through a city, what would we use? The NV program is really a vision of a future world of personal transportation. It's an ongoing experiment to determine what are some opportunities in the future. How do we positively contribute to the transportation problems in the future? Uh, for the designers, it was a welcome change of pace to begin to explore something very, very different. It really allowed them to kind of broaden their foreign vocabulary looks. So it was a really wonderful experience for them. It was kind of uh, enlightening for them. It really broadened their perspectives. The future world of transportation in megacities, where we have a lot of people, a lot of congestion, uh, moving through traffic is a challenge. In these big environments, these big cities, it probably has a great place uh, to live because it's small, it's really highly maneuverable, doesn't take up a lot of space when it parks, and because if it's electrified, pollution is reduced significantly. When people buy an automobile, they're, they're looking to do something because it, the vehicle or the product has an emotion or a story that's attached to it. This is a vehicle, for instance, that's very playful, it's very fun, it's very whimsical, it's almost toy-like. To some people, it would not be very attractive. To other people, it would be really, really fun. For a designer, we really need to know who the audience is that we're designing to. We have to understand where we're going to sell it, what the needs are of that audience, and, and really tailor what we design to it. We did three vehicles, and we did it for a couple of three reasons. Number one, we wanted to show the versatility of what the platform could provide. Number two, we wanted to really show the capability of three different design centers that General Motors has globally. So we showed the versatility and the perspective of, of the designers in different places, and each one of the vehicles has a personality. One is very playful, very fun. One is a little more serious, more technical, and another one is a little more sophisticated, a little more suave, a little more fashion and style focused. So we're trying to think of things that people haven't thought about yet. As a designer, you have to have a mindset that takes you there. But when you start seeing these cars show up that you have drawn on paper or on a computer, when it comes to life, it's exciting. What do you think? Do you like the idea? Are you good with it being electric powered? Do you have any concerns, any worries, any fears? What do you think about getting in the front of the vehicle versus getting in the side? I mean, it's a pretty small vehicle. Do you have any concerns about that? Do you see any benefits of it? Because really, parking something like this can be pretty easy. You don't have to parallel park. You just kind of drive in and stop or back in, and you're pretty, you're pretty cool. The design, there's three vehicles. What do you think about the three vehicles? Because each one has a personality. What doesn't it do that you think it would need to do as you navigate through a city? Where could you use it? Would you use it every day? Would you use it uh, going to work? Would you use it going to the train? How would you use it?